Hey guys, this is Jaden coming at you from Team Shadow Strike, and this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual. I apologize for that. This is going to be a deck profile of my current uh, Gear Chronicle deck, and it's also going to be to uh, a dis fuck a discussion of the ban list that was recently announced that'll take effect on June 30th of this of 2017. And I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the meta, which is why also I have my handy dandy monster drink here to help me get through this video so I don't talk myself hoarse. So, monster energy drinks. Hashtag sponsored, but not sponsored, right? <sighs> so anyway, the van list got announced, and let's just go ahead. If you know Gear Chronicle, you know what two cards I'm pulling out. So the first two big things that got, I don't want to say hit, I'll explain why here in a second. The first things that got put on the restriction list is you can only play one TikTok worker now, and he cannot be used as the starting Vanguard. That that was smart. TikTok worker, guys, is a, is a, is a stupid ass card. It needed to get, it needed to get hit to one, and it needed to get um, the. Uh, ability the uh to be axed as the starting vanguard that that was the right move by bushiro that was a smart move <clears throat> next card steam battler or water just for the video's sake i'm gonna read him generation break one when this unit is put into the bind zone from your rear guard you may place this unit on the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw two cards. Choose a card from your hand, return it to your deck, and then shuffle it. So it's basically a pot of greed that goes back to the deck <coughs> that lets you then take any card in your hand and place it back. So if your hand just has too many grade threes, put that grade three back. If your hand just has way too many perfect guards at the time, put that perfect guard back in. If you have too many triggers, put that trigger back whatever if you want to put um your if you drew your gg in early game and you want to be able to time leap her out put her back in the deck i mean this card is good that's why it was hit um but this isn't the problem guys um i think by doing this what you, they actually did was they punished a deck that really didn't need to be punished um true i'm not now hear me out before you shut the video off I am not saying this card is not good. This card is good. This card is phenomenal. This is a great card for Gear Chronicle. But by putting this to one, you are also punishing Chrono Fang Tiger. Because Chrono Fang Tiger binds so much out of their hand, they needed this. Because it was a way for them to replenish their hand. And let me put it to you this way. <clears throat> I was talking to my friend Zach earlier about this. And here's how I worded it. Excuse me. By put, by making it to where, as of January 30th, you can only use one copy of Urwater in your deck. That puts a ding in Chrono Jet decks. That blasts a hole in Chrono Tiger decks. And that's not fair to fan to people who like Chrono Tiger. And I like Chrono Tiger, but I'm not going to spend any money building that deck with Urwater at one. I will not do it. it it's not a smart investment because the deck, without Urwater... The deck just cannot, It's not, it doesn't have a consistent engine to keep fueling it. And by hitting this to one, you have punished Chrono Fang Tiger players, fans, or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I like Chrono Fang Tiger guys, but with this at one, the deck is just, it, it can't, it can't function right. And that's sad, because also in Chrono Fang Tiger decks, they really don't have a way to fetch this. Um... At least one that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, outside of Melum. Now, <clears throat> which leads me into my next point. Having Urwater at one for Chrono Jet decks, that doesn't, that, that, that's not the problem. It doesn't matter if this deck is, if this card is at one or four. If it's at four, it's going to be in your hand more and you can actually use it as an actual trigger check that you can actually depend on. Well, maybe not depend on if you're only playing four of, but you get my point. You can play this and actually expect it to show up more when it's at four. Now, if this is in your deck at one, you're not going to count on trigger checking it because it's, it's one card. 
I know essentially you're giving up that stand effect, but if you check it, you're still going to give 5,000 power to a rear guard or your vanguard to bust through a guard or something. And if not, you're just going to put this right back in your hand to call it on the field, time leap something out, shove it back, draw two, and it's back in the deck anyway. <clears throat> the TikTok work, the TikTok worker hit was correct. TikTok worker to one and being prevented as the starting vanguard is the right thing to do because that card is really good <laughs> because of the melum combo. This card is really good because of the melum combo. The problem putting this at one, it doesn't affect Chrono Jet decks in the slightest because melum is still a card. Melum lets you search out any grade zero from your deck and place it on the field at rest. So it doesn't matter that you only play one because of many reasons. One, you can search it out with Melum, and two, if this hits your damage zone or your drop zone, when it's in your damage zone, it's going to be the first thing you heal out of, and there are so many ways that you can put this back in the deck. So putting Urwater to one didn't really hurt Chronojet at all. It actually helped them a little bit, if you think about it, because most Chrono Jet deck players played anywhere from two to four, and if they played four, then they sacrificed those extra slots that could put another trigger in. Now you can replace those extra stand, those extra three slots, or two to three slots, and place them with um, critical triggers, or draw triggers, whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, that sounded better in my head, but whatever you want. And... My point is, this was not the problem. True, this card was a huge factor in helping out Chrono Fang decks, and it, in in turn, with Time Leap, because Time Leap, Time Leap by far is a broke ass mechanic. I think I think that's the one thing we can all agree on. Time Leaping in itself is a broke as shit mechanic, and there are so many cards that just make the that the Time Leap mechanic so good. Here's what you should have did. Melum is the problem here. Melum is the problem. And I'll explain to you why. Because <clears throat> the Melum combo. It started by going into your first stride of, of uh, Phoenix and getting a Melum TikTok column, which was easy considering TikTok was your starter. You moved, her, you moved him over here, you drew your Melum, and then on your turn you attacked with this. This activated its skill, this is going to time leap it, and you're going to get the stand trigger and history maker, where then you have this. Skill. Time leap. Draw two, put it back in the deck. Attack for 11 if your opponent didn't hit a damage trigger. And then attack with Phoenix. That is the problem. True, this card in that scenario gets time leap twice, and you get to kick that skill multiple times. So you might be saying, well, well Jaden, that's, that's the problem. <clears throat> Melum is what makes this card busted. Because as long as Melum is a card, this card at one does not hinder Chrono Jet decks at all. If they really wanted to hurt the Melum combo, or put it in check, and to where you can still use it, but it just makes it not less spammable, is you do this, you take Melum, and you errata her. Errata. In other words, you issue a new ruling on her. You say, you can still play Melum in your deck. We're not even going to hit her. We're just going to erota her. Give her a new restriction. Like they did with Sword Me. That Sword Me can only be played in a deck with grade 3 Jewel Knights. You take Melum and you say from now on, Melum is a once per turn effect. By doing that, you put so... And keeping TikTok worker at one and not being able to use it as the starter, you put so much more of a positive effect on the game. You you keep Urwater at four, so Chrono Fang Dex can still use it to help them, and you effectively shut this down. True, that means Chrono Jet Dex would have four of these and would be able to use it still, 
but you wouldn't be punishing something for n not doing anything. Chrono Fang Tiger has done nothing in the meta. It's done nothing. It, it, I think I've seen it top once. But as a whole, that deck is it, 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 it's not in the discussion for being one of the best decks out there. It is a good deck. With this at four. With this at one, it punishes the wrong thing. They did this, the, the list was designed to hurt Chronojet, and it was, it, it, it was, um, its job, the, their goal was to damage the Melum combo and damage Gear Chronicle. What they did was they put a ding in Gear Chronicle, because now you only have one Urwater and the TikTok in, that floats in the deck. But there are ways to pull TikTok out of the deck, and there are ways to pull Urwater out of the deck, and there are ways to put them back. So it doesn't really stun Gear Chronicle that much. And when I say Gear Chronicle, I'm talking about Chronojet. Because when we say Gear Chronicle decks, we're talking about Chronojet. Chrono Fang Tiger is still technically Gear Chronicle, but when you are talking about the clan as a whole, you are referencing the main meta deck, which is Chronojet. And as... <clears throat> Guys, Bushy Road has made it abundantly clear that they want to push Gear Chronicle and the Time Leap mechanic as their main thing. So just because Urwater got hit to one and TikTok Worker got hit to one and you can't be using him as the starting vanguard, Chronojet is just going to continue to get more and more and more support. The only thing this kind of makes me think about, okay, if they took this away, what does that mean in the future? Because... Season 3 is still, like, maybe in the early stage of the middle, so there is probably three or four or five more sets that are going to come in this season. And I guarantee you, and out of the, the rest of the sets that are coming out in the next four or five sets, at least three of them is going to have Gear Chronicle support in it. So this deck is going to continue just to get more and more and more support. And having... Urwater at one does nothing to this deck. The Melum combo is hurt a little because you don't have that TikTok to jump into History Maker along with it, but the deck still flows amazingly. And I'm going to show you at the end of the at the end of the video the Melum combo. <laughs> so it's really not that it's it's even with Melum at one without TikTok. That's what I'm going to show you. It's, it doesn't hurt the deck at all, and I'll, and I'll show that to you. So the full list, um, TikTok Worker got hit to one as and can't be used as the starter. Good move. Urwater, as of January 30th, you can't play more than one in the in any Gear Chronicle deck. That, unfortunately, is not fair to Chrono Vang decks. Um, I mean, I would be okay with them doing that if they said you can only play one in a deck that plays Chrono Jack Grade Threes. But... That's not what they did. Um, and then Conroe is the start can be used as the starting Vanguard in Cogro decks again. That that made my freaking day. The seven C starter is now at one, and you can't use it as the starting Vanguard, which was a very smart move. The seven C's Grade One Rush deck had to be hit. That deck was just it was not uh, the reason they gave behind that was it was just not a good deck for tournament. Uh, environment, and I completely agree with that, because that deck was annoying as shit. Now, unfortunately, now, we did not get the Sanctuary Guard hit that Japan got, and some people are mad about that, some people are probably jumping up and down thankful that that didn't happen here. Me, I'm indifferent about it. Um, if it would have gotten hit, it would have been, eh, oh well, and if it, and I had the same reaction that it when it didn't get hit. Huh, oh well, don't care. Um, Sanctuary Guard, you know, I have the deck. I play it every now and then, but it what it's not. <clears throat> it's not one. It's it what it wasn't going to affect me either way, whether he was hit or not. Um, Sanctuary Guard arc, in my in my opinion, is a little better at you know in a in some ways. You know, some people may not agree with that, but <clears throat> anywho. Um, so we only got four new things that are happening here as far as our restriction list. TikTok Worker to one, can't be used as the starter. Urwater to one, um, the 7C starter is hit to one and can't be used as the starting vanguard. And Conroe is no longer restricted in any way and he can be used as the starting vanguard again. And this will all take effect as of January 30th. So awesome sauce and... Uh, 
you know, that's really nice. So what does this mean for the meta? With <clears throat> Gear Chronicle, guys, Chrono Jet decks are still going to be very much a thing. Do not think for the slightest minute that this is going to somehow hurt Gear Chronicle or hurt its presence in main events. Um, with the big tournaments starting to come up, I will be going to the one in Dallas the weekend of March 11th. Gear Chronicle is still going to be around. Do not fool yourself for even a minute. Gear Chronicle is still very much a thing. Um, you just got to get a little more... You just got to maybe get a little more creative if you still want to use the Melon Combo. Um, there are ways to increase your chances of getting what you want. You just have to play around with uh, things of that nature. Um, I will tell you, this deck is already built um, by the ban list. Um, I went ahead and just changed all my decks to fit that, even though this is the only one it really affected. Um, except my Kagro decks. Every Kagro deck I have, Kondra is now the starter again. <laughs> It, 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 at least in my Overlord decks. I probably will still use Sad as the starter in Blade Master, but I haven't decided yet. But anyway, um, what this means is with the Melum combo gone, it at least not... Okay. With the Melum combo getting at least less consistent, and by that I mean where you won't be guaranteed to talk, um, it will um, give decks, other decks, a little... A big boost. Um, decks of this nature are Vanquisher. I think Vanquisher is a very, very good threat right now. Um, I think Messiah actually gets a little bit of a boost from it too, um, because the Melum combo really hurt that deck. Because uh, when I test played against Gear Chronicle, um, someone the day before the last regional I went to, it really did run me over. Um, it really helps Gold Paladin decks, and it also really means that Savas decks take a huge jump in the meta as well. The Savish stride from set 9 is absolutely amazing, and <clears throat> so that is um, really, really, um, really cool to see. Um, it's going to give other decks a chance, and that I'm all for. Um, so anyway, guys, <clears throat> so um, that's pretty much all there is to say. Um, I think every other deck still has a shot, you know, but my picks for top meta right now would be your Chronojet Gear Chronicle decks that use Time Leap, so Chain Attack Time Leap, or whatever you want to call it. Um, personally, my deck profile for Gear Chronicle is called GC Melum TikTok Bullshit, because that's what it is. Um, <clears throat> um, Vanquisher, I think, is Tier 1 now, in my opinion. Uh, again, this is my opinion, so if you don't agree with it, don't you know start threatening to come burn my house down. Uh, or... Don't grab the pitchforks and come after me. It's my opinion. Um, or bring the pitchfork and I'll tell you to fuck off. Either way. Uh, <laughs> um, Gold Paladin Gurget. I'm sorry. I think that deck's tier one too. Uh, the amount of chain attacks that it can pull off and the mass amount of power it pushes, I think that deck is deserving of a tier one spot, in my opinion. Um, I think Savas. Savas is another one. Aqua Force in general. Um, the Maelstrom deck, too. Both of those decks got so much of an increase with uh, Set 9. I think um, both of those decks need to be taken seriously again. Aqua Force is back, guys. And the fact then it, that in Set 9, that's the Savas Stride from the Aqua Force Clan Booster got reprinted, which makes it a lot easier to get, because me, personally, I'm uh, trying to finish that deck. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing another video after this talking about my current, my, um, about deck building and things like that. And we'll get, I'll get more into that in that video. But anyway, so anyway, guys, that is kind of my opinion on the meta right now. Um, I think other decks will get, uh, I, I mean, those are the top decks that come to my mind. Don't think just because I didn't say one of your decks that I think that your deck is terrible or it doesn't have a shot or, um, I mean, <clears throat> those are just the top decks that come to mind. Um, GC, VMAX, Gold Paladin, um, and uh, Messiah, because that ability can change, that deck can chain attack and control the board. Um, anything that can control the board, control the game state, or chain attack. Those decks are the best decks to play right now. So you, if your deck does any of that, kudos. Your, your deck can 
can fall in that category. So please do not take it wrong if I didn't mention your clan, <laughs> uh, because I've had some people send me very hateful messages at times, saying, Oh, so you don't think this deck is good? And it's just like, really? You know, keep in mind, every time I tell you something, this is my opinion. If you do not agree with it, that is fine. Um, I invite you to share all your thoughts with me in the comment section, even if they're in contradiction to my own. Um, and I will listen to them, and, they, and I have been given arguments in the comment section below, guys, before, that are different from mine, but I agree with. So I... I'm not claiming to be the guru knowledge wisdom thing of all Vanguard. I'm just saying this is my opinion. And if you have a different one, I would love to hear it. I <laughs> Don't be shy about sharing your opinion with me. I love hearing what you guys uh, think. I've learned from you guys, and I'm hopefully I've taught you guys maybe some things you didn't know. or that That's the way the community works. You give and take. You... You take some ideas from people and you give some back um, because in my opinion, that's how the community grows. That's how it gets better. And, you know, I've never had a, you know, I've always had great experiences at Bush Road events and meeting people and, you know, I have nothing to complain about. Um, so anyway, guys, um, please don't ever hesitate to ask me a question, ask my opinion. You can shoot me a email i do not mind and the team's email site is in the uh <clears throat> on the home page you can send me an email and i will respond to the best of my knowledge if it's a question that i think sam or christian can answer better i will ask that i will uh uh Ask their opinion, and either they'll send you a message off the email or things like that. Christian's on Facebook. You can always message him for his opinion if you have a deep police question, because he's basically the guy I go to for that. Um, so I'm willing to hear you hear out any opinion you have, try and answer any question that you might have, and do the best of my ability to, um, <clears throat> you know, um, help you in any way I can. Um, so if you guys ever have a question or an opinion, please share it with me. Um, I may not agree with it. I may like it, you know, but even if I don't agree with your opinion, I'm not going to shun you. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to be rude. I'm just going to say, oh, well, if that works for you, great. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy that works for you. Me. Remember, this game is based all off player preference, and that's what I've been. I I, I try and preach all the time. Well, not preach because I hate preaching, but that's what I try to always get across. Um, this game is based off player preference. Um, sometimes you <clears throat> incorporate ideas that you get from other people. That's just life. Um, I don't consider it net decking. If you borrow an idea that you see from me or you see from someone else, that's not net decking to me. Um, I consider that, um, you know, I mean, if you get the idea from someone else and you're asked about it, be honest. Um, and it doesn't mean that you're, that you were stupid because you didn't figure out the same thing that that person did. It, it, it's, it's just, you got to remember that this is a, this is a game and you take, you learn things from other people and there's no shame in that. So, <clears throat> Because I'll, I'll be honest, guys, there have been times that you guys have made suggestions to me about cards, and I liked it. I said, you know what, I'll give this a shot, I'll see how it works, and see if I like it. And turns out, I did. So, <clears throat> you guys have helped me out before. I hope there have been, I, I hope that I've helped some of you out before with either a deck, or a card choice, or something. Um, so don't ever feel shy, and just because I do not respond to you, it does not mean that I'm avoiding you, it just means sometimes I get real, real, real busy, guys. Life right now is insane, so please just understand that sometime I'm just, I'm just exhausted and I just don't have the energy. Um, so please don't for one second think that I'm I'm ever avoiding you because I didn't answer you. Um, I'm going to try and start Skyping again very soon. I really did enjoy doing that with the few of you that I did get to do that with. Um, so I will be doing that again very soon. 
And um, so anyway, guys, um, this video is long enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this video off here, and then I'm going to do another video where um, <clears throat> I'm going to um, talk. It's going to be basically a part two where I'm going to do the deck profile for my Gear Chronicle deck, and I will continue part of the discussion in there as well. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave all your comments and thoughts below on the ban list or what you think that could have been done to change or make it better or what's a card you think that should have got hit or limited or banned or whatever. And if you say a card, please give me a reason, and please don't make that reason be, I just don't like this card. Um, because that's not a good reason for you to want the card banned if it's just I don't like it. So please give me your opinions and thoughts below. Thank you very much for guys, for you guys for watching and listening and hopefully taking part in the discussion below. And uh, be sure to check out part two of this video. Thank you. Make sure you give this video a like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you in part two.